Good evening. The Secretary General will uh, uh, brief you on uh, the uh, meeting on the south. Good evening. We have just uh, had uh, very extensive discussions on the developments in uh, North Africa and in the Middle East. Uh, we discussed the progress of the global uh, coalition against ISIL, uh, the measures taken by France and other allies in the aftermath of the terrorist attacks in Paris, and the Vienna talks to find a political uh, solution to the war in uh, Syria. NATO fully supports these uh, renewed efforts to find a political uh, solution to the crisis in uh, Syria. We also discussed the downing of the Russian jet uh, last uh, week. Turkey has uh, the right to defend its uh, territorial integrity and the airspace. Calm and de-escalation is now, on, uh, is now the, the essence. And I encourage direct dialogue uh, between Moscow and uh, Ankara. So the challenges uh, from the south are grave and complex. NATO is already responding. We are taking action along three lines. First, ensuring our collective defense. Second, helping to manage existing crisis. And third, working with partners to help to stabilize the region. Today, we have given strategic guidance to our military commanders along all uh, three lines. With regard to collective defense, we are enhancing the readiness and responsiveness of our forces to deal with the threats uh, from the south as well as the east. We have just held our biggest exercise in over a decade in the south of our alliance. Work is progressing on maritime and missile defense as well as the new surveillance drones. And today we have approved a new strategy on hybrid warfare. We're also improving our intelligence and early warning mechanisms to help us better understand the region and increase our situational awareness. Our ally Turkey is literally on the front line. We have long standing plans for defending Turkey. We keep them under active review and strengthening them further. For several years, NATO has augmented Turkey's air defenses. We will continue to do so. And allies are looking at additional assurance measures for Turkey. They will be finalized in the coming weeks. NATO's second task is crisis management. The alliance has been conducting crisis management operations over two decades. All allies are part of the coalition against ISIL. The effectiveness of the coalition is based uh, uh, to a large extent on the interoperability built by allies and partners over many years of NATO operations. Uh, our third uh, core task is cooperative security. NATO is in, um, uh, is in helping partners in the Middle East and North Africa uh, build their capacity to defend themselves. We have recently launched enhanced defense capacity building for Jordan and Iraq. We are setting up NATO training for Iraqi officers in Jordan and Turkey in areas such as countering improvised explosive devices, demining, planning, cyber defense, military medicine, and security sector reform. We are also working closely with Tunisia to fight terrorism, including through special forces training and intelligence assistance. We will be working with our partners to see what more we can do in all these uh, areas. So uh, then I'm ready to take your questions.